Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. I've always been asked if I can split two playing cards with one shot. So what I have here is a 10 of spades and a nine of diamonds. Let's see if I can back up and split two playing cards with one shot. This shouldn't be that difficult. All right, two cards with one shot. Not hard, not hard at all. However, there is a trick shot Bob Munden did several years ago that I wanna try out. As a child, this is the shot that I remember Bob Munden doing. Now, before we go any further, Bob Munden goes down as being the greatest exhibition shooter of all time. I am not comparing myself to Bob Munden one way, shape, or form, okay? Bob was the man, and unfortunately, we lost him several years ago, but he will always be remembered. This is pretty much just a tribute shot to Bob. Now, in that shot, what he did, he took an ax blade like this. Uh, this little Kershaw ax blade was sent to me by Blade Tech to do this trick shot, but he took an ax blade and set up two playing cards. And what I wanna try to do is set these playing cards like so and split the bullet on the ax and some of the splits off of those rounds would split both of these playing cards at the same time. So one bullet, two playing cards once I split the bullet. Now I'm not using just any ordinary revolver whatsoever. I'm using the new 686 uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Center. This revolver is amazing. I'm gonna do a full review on it in uh, probably in a few weeks but this is their brand new 686 Performance Center. And yes, it's a little dirty because I've been shooting some uh, 38 Special uh, Federal uh, lead ammo through it and it gets quite dirty. But I'm gonna quit talking about it. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna try to split two playing cards from a split bullet off an ax head. All right, let's give it a shot. I have the six of clubs right here in the six of hearts. See if I can split that bullet and split two playing cards with that one bullet. Whew. All right, here we go. Oh, I got the one on the left, but the one on the right just laughed at me. Let me reset. You can hit this blade in the exact same spot probably 10 times in a row and those splits are going to go different directions each and every time. Let's try it again. I will pull this shot off. I think. Oh. All right, we have two brand new playing cards up here, the eight of clubs and the nine of spades. I will pull this shot off eventually. <laughs> did I do it? I think I did it. I think I did it. Let me grab this camera. It's close. If I didn't do it, it is extremely close. All right. Poor camera work for just a second. All right, we have the eight of clubs. It is split. Let's look right over here. Hot dog. I did it. <laughs> the nine of spades is split right off the top. See if I can find the pieces of these cards. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they went. Horrible, horrible camera work here, guys. Cards are flying everywhere. It's a windy day, but that is okay. I pulled the shot off. 
the nearly impossible shot for me. Alright, see if we can set them down right here. So there's the eight and the nine. Where'd the piece go on the nine? Did it fly? Oh, there it is right here. Got it. Right there. Wow. That was a tough one. That was a real, real, real tough shot. And I apologize for the poor camera work, but I'm not gonna lie to you. That shot took a little while. I split a lot of playing cards trying it. And I hopefully, just hopefully, the camera picked it up. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other ideas, what you want me to shoot next, put it in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep flicking. close. Ah, I got the one on the right. Ah. Nope. So close.